Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to discuss ways to maximize the amount of money you earn on a shoot as a real estate photographer. So we all know that photography is central to our businesses. All agents need photos of their listings, so obviously photography is the most important part of what we do. But what about auxiliary services that we can provide? So I truly believe that our job as real estate photographers has evolved into a multimedia landscape. And if you're just solely offering photography to your clients and no other services, you're selling yourself short and not earning to your fullest potential. By offering a multitude of services, you're opening yourself up to say making $1,000 at an appointment instead of maybe just like a couple hundred bucks for just doing photos. You also don't want your agents hiring another company to perform a service for their listing because you don't provide those services. Next time, they might just hire that company to do the photos instead of you because they provide all the other services they want and it's more convenient for them to just deal with one company. Do you see where I'm going with this? You want to be a one-stop shop for your clients so they don't have to go somewhere else to get the services they need. You'll fulfill your clients' needs and make them happy and you'll earn more money in the process. Win-win. In the next few minutes, I'm going to outline some ideas for services that you can provide in addition to photography to help you maximize the amount of money you're earning at your appointments. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is probably pretty obvious, but the most ordered service for me personally besides photography is drone. Agents have the choice of ordering just photos or they can order photos and a short aerial video to go along with it. Agents love aerial photography because it's a great way to show the size of a property, the surrounding neighborhood, and also proximity to any important geographical features nearby such as lakes, rivers, ocean, beach, parks, etc. Drone services are great too because they don't take that long to complete on site and you can charge a good price for them. You could of course just hire out another company that specializes in drone work to provide these services for you, but you'd be missing out on nice profits. The equipment is not that big of a hit financially speaking, and given how high the demand is for these services, I think it's a no-brainer investment. The biggest possible obstacle I see here is that you need to become commercially certified to fly drones for your business, which requires you to invest some time in studying for the test and passing it. Also, I highly recommend you get insurance to cover you in any accidents, which is an additional financial expense as well. Again though, I strongly believe that it's a worthwhile endeavor given the high demand for drone services and the amount of money that your business can make from it. Also, I made a video about doing drone shoots and I'll link to that up on the screen right now. So one of the other main services that agents want in addition to photos is video. Video walkthroughs help agents give their buyers a feel for what it's like to move through the space and can be a very powerful marketing tool. I can only speak for myself, but the demand for video has been exponentially increasing the past couple of years for my own business and I really think it's going to be a big part of the landscape of what we do in the near future. I really think it's something that we all need to consider implementing if you haven't done so already. The beauty of video as well is that we all pretty much possess the gear we need already. The camera and lens we use to shoot real estate photography is already equipped to make great videos. The only other piece of gear you would need to invest in is a gimbal which can be obtained for only a few hundred dollars. It's not a big investment and you can make that money back in only one or two video gigs. It's definitely a service that I charge more money for than photos as well so there's real earning potential with video. It's just a matter of familiarizing yourself with the process of how to do it and polishing it up. I made a video on how I create professional real estate videos and I'll link to that up on the screen right now. Three D virtual tours are another popular service requested by agents. It creates a 3D model of the home and allows the user to click around and move through the space as if they were walking through the home themselves. You can see how this can be an attractive marketing device for agents. It allows potential buyers to tour the home without actually physically being there. The biggest name in the game for this service is Matterport. The Matterport camera is a bit expensive though, so it is a big investment. There are cheaper camera alternatives out there as well, but the image quality isn't quite as good. It might be a good idea though to go with one of these cheaper alternatives at first while you establish this service with your clients and get them invested into it. You also have to pay hosting fees for the models you create as well. Just charge accordingly and educate your clients about it and it can be a worthwhile and profitable tool to have in your arsenal. So another service that a lot of realtors are looking for are floor plans. Floor plans are useful because they show how the home is laid out and the dimensions of each room so that buyers can get an idea of how big the rooms are and how they flow together. You could actually create floor plans with Matterport and kill two birds with one stone. 
There are other methods out there to create floor plans as well, such as Cubicasa. This is definitely a topic for another video that I plan on making in the future, so keep an eye out for that. In a nutshell, it's a service that realtors want, and it's definitely a way for us real estate photographers to earn more on our bookings, so it's something worth considering to offer to your clients. So this is an easy one and a very inexpensive one to implement into your services. All agents need room measurements for their listings. Most of them do it themselves, but for a small fee, you can offer to do it for them when you do the photography. After all, you're already going room to room taking photos and it won't take you that much more time to get the room measurements. All you need to do is invest in a laser measure, which will only cost you around $30. I charge $25 for the service, which saves them the trouble of doing it themselves. Some agents don't even attend the shoots, so it's a nice convenience for them. It's not a big money maker, obviously, but as I said, it takes next to no time to do, and it's a nice way to earn a little extra money on a shoot. I just record all the room measurements in my notes app on my phone, and then text them off to the agent when I'm done. There are numerous things you could offer your clients after the shoot to help maximize your earnings. One thing you can offer is property websites. Agents love property websites to showcase their listings and all the media that you provided them all in one place. Buyers can view photos, floor plans, 3D tours, and videos all on a property website. Another thing you can consider offering is virtual twilight photos or converting a day photo into a twilight photo using editing techniques. Virtual staging is another way to earn more. If a home is vacant with no furnishings in it, agents will often ask for virtual staging. I don't actually do virtual staging myself, I outsource it. I use a company that I like that does a good job with it. I know the price that they charge and I just mark it up a bit when I quote my clients so that I earn something for taking care of the process. One final idea that you might wanna consider is rush editing or same day delivery for a client that wants to pay a fee for it. So as you can probably see by now, the point I'm trying to get across is that it's important to offer a wide array of services to your clients in order to maximize your earning potential. Offering these services though is just half the battle. You need to sell these services to your clients and show them how valuable they are. In addition to talking to them about it, I'll throw one of these services in for free here and there for some of my regular clients so they can see what the service is like and get a taste for it. A lot of times they like the response they get from it and we'll start ordering it in the future. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe and enable notifications to be the first to find out about future videos. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon.